Hi guys, so I've had some requests to do a solution video to this question from this year's SEA exam, question 41, section 3, using the bar modeling method. Now there are other ways, other methods you could use to solve this, and two of them are shown in another video by another teacher. And I will link you to his video in the description box below, so you can take a look at that and see which method your child prefers. Okay. Now this video will be using the bar modeling method to solve an unequal sharing problem. So this falls under the topic of unequal sharing, all right, which I put it in my collection of unequal sharing solution videos. Okay. Um, so as usual, we start off with giving our items some letters so here we have omari bought some magnets and i will use m to represent magnets and s for spinners so that i don't waste time writing the word magnets and spinners over and over all right each magnet cost two dollars and each spinner cost four dollars he bought seven more magnets than spinners and spent a total of 104 dollars okay now here seven more magnets than spinners give us an indication of where the number of magnets and spinners start to become unequal all right so like all of our previous questions we list our items we have magnets and spinners and we have some equal number of magnets and some equal number of spinners all right and where it starts to become unequal is when he bought seven more magnets than spinners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So where it starts to become unequal is when he bought seven more magnets than spinners. All right. Now, we don't know what the cost is here all right we don't know what the cost of these amount here right ah all we know is that this here is some number multiplied by spinners cost four dollars each right four dollars each and some number multiplied by two dollars each and we know that these seven magnets cost two dollars each as well all right so two dollars all right two dollars all right sometimes keeping your units with your numbers help you to see clearly what needs to be done right all right so we use this seven more magnets now what is the cost of these seven more magnets here well it's just seven magnets multiplied by two dollars to give us fourteen dollars all right so these seven magnets here that make the the amount of magnets and spinners unequal cost fourteen dollars all right now they told us that the total spent on this amount of magnets and this amount of spinners is a hundred and four dollars all right, so the equal amount of magnets and spinners plus this seven gave us this one hundred and four dollars so let's find the cost of the equal number of magnets and spinners all right the total cost of the equal number of magnets and spinners by removing this unequal part here so we're going to remove the unequal part by subtracting fourteen dollars all right and we will get $90. All right. So this $90 represent the cost total cost between the number of magnets here and the number of spinners here. All right. Now when we come to dividing to find the how many items we have here and here. All right. So the number of items each of spinners and magnets would be ninety dollars divided by now I know you're tempted to say two right magnets and spinners 
but it's not magnets and spinners we're going to divide by the cost of a magnet and the cost of a spinner so it's the cost of a magnet plus the cost of a spinner which will give us that six dollars all right so it's ninety dollars divided by six dollars to find out how many each of the magnets and spinners we have all right so 90 divided by 6 will give me 15 not 15 dollars but 15 which is the amount of items each all right so in this box we have 15 magnets here and in this box we have 15 spinners all right so we use that two dollars we use this four dollars we use this 104 dollars did we answer the question no the question is how many magnets did he buy so if we know he had 15 magnets here and uh, seven magnets here then the number of magnets he bought so the number of magnets would be the 15 plus that seven to give you 22 magnets okay so as with every question it's always good to do a quick back check to make sure that your answer makes sense now what that means is that we are going to find the cost of these 22 magnets and the 15 spinners and make sure that they total hundred and four dollars okay because that is how much he spent it can't be more than that it can't be less it must be equal to 104 so we know that we have 22 magnets from our answer and each magnet from the question costs two dollars so this gives us 44 dollars for 22 magnets and in terms of spinners we know that we have 15 spinners and they cost four dollars each and this would give us sixty dollars all right if we add these two together we have 4 plus 0 is 4 and 6 plus 4 is 10 our answer right gives us hundred and four dollars which is the amount he spent okay so we know that our answer makes sense it's correct and we could quickly move on to the next question